Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today we're going to be talking about part nine of our Classroom Without Walls Creating Video Instruction at EIU. And today's topic is recording a slideshow with only PowerPoint. So we finally made it to some of the nuts and bolts and how-to issues. So if you have never used PowerPoint to record a slideshow, uh, this is a very easy way to create video instruction. One of the reasons we like PowerPoint is it's available to all of our faculty, staff, and students. The more recent versions have an updated interface, interface so I would recommend using uh, at least uh, PowerPoint, the desktop version 2019, or use PowerPoint Office 365. And it's also available for both Mac and PC. So what I need to do today is kind of a little bit of EdTech ed magic. Uh, we're going to be making a recording of a recording. So I have to be able to show you what's on my Surface Pro tablet screen. And in order to do that, we're going to do a little bit of EdTech magic. Whenever I snap my fingers, you'll be able to see what I'm seeing on my Surface Pro tablet. There we are. And let me get out of the way here. So what I'm looking at right now is just a very basic PowerPoint. I've kept this very simple. Uh, remember that cognitive load concept we talked about a couple of uh, slides ago? Uh, I don't want to get overwhelmed with all the interface issues, but faculty are very familiar with PowerPoint. So in order to record a slideshow, you need to go to the slideshow tab. So I'm going to navigate up, click on slideshow, and right underneath it says record slideshow with a little triangle, a little down pull down. And we've got two choices. We can either record from the current slide or we, we can record from the beginning. All right, I'm going to select record from beginning. And whenever I do so, you're going to see this interface change to the recording interface. So there we are. Now then, what we're looking at is a recording interface. And notice right away up in the upper left hand corner that stands out very brightly, you have that red button. You press that button and you're recording in PowerPoint. It's that simple. Next to that, we have the stop button. And next to that, we have the replay button. I don't have any notes in this particular PowerPoint. Um, you can clear slides once you record something. If you make a mistake or something, you can re clear the slide and start over or just clear a particular slide. However, you might want to, the first time you use this particularly, you might want to check out the settings tab because this tells you what microphone and what camera you're using. And since I'm using a Surface Pro, it has a front and a back camera. So I do want to select the front camera. So whenever I do that, it turns on my camera, puts it down in the lower right hand corner. And you can see now that I am recording with the green screen behind me. Since I'm not using the studio camera, it's not getting keyed out. But uh, let's just ignore that for the moment. And then finally, to finish up the interface here, you've got your uh, re back and forward buttons for your slideshow. And at the bottom, you have a really nice digital inking tool set down here. You can have your microphone, your video, and I'm going to turn my camera off for a moment. So you can turn your camera off if you don't want to record your, your face on the slide. I do, so I'm going to leave it there. And then one last thing, you can, if you elect to leave your, your camera on, you can turn off the camera or the camera preview, the camera stays on. Notice the camera's still on. So this final recording, whenever we render it, it will include our face. I like leaving the camera on so I can see it, turn that preview on. Uh, so just in case something would uh, get in the, uh, you know, a PowerPoint slide, some of the words would get behind my picture, I would know about it. So let's go ahead and record. I'm going to press the red record button. It will give me a countdown, three, two, one. Okay, we're recording. I'm looking at my front camera of my Surface Pro now, so I can go through and continue giving my little mini lecture. Remember, we want to keep these things short. So here is slide number one. Here's point number one. Notice that the animations and things uh, remain intact. And then what's really nice is, once I have this, I, I'm going to use my finger, since uh, this is a digital or touch screen, I'm going to use my finger and let's choose digital ink. And I can come up here and I can put check marks or I can select a highlighter and let's do uh, yellow. So as I am talking, that digital ink and things are synced up uh, with, uh, with, my, uh, with my recording and things. You can get a little bit fancier. Let's go to the next slide. 
So here's an image, you know, a timely image, one of this. This is a coronavirus, one of the reasons that, you know, we're here and so much uh, havoc has been, uh, been brought up on us uh, over the last few weeks. But again, I can use my digital ink. So let me come up here. Let me change my ink color here. And I can come up and circle different things that I want students to pay attention to. And since PowerPoint still has that animation feature, you kind of have to train yourself to look at the camera and things every now and then. You probably notice my not eyes darting back and forth, and that's normal. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the right arrow to go to the next animation. And it's please wash your hands with soap and water. All right, I can go ahead and finish this. This is the last slide that I want to do, so let's stop my screen recording. So I can come up here. I might even want to wave bye to the students. So I'll say bye bye everybody. And now then it's taking all of those uh, recordings and animations and digital inking and things. Let me come back up on screen here to the studio camera. It's taking all those animations and things, putting it into one file. Then we have one step left to do. And that is, let's finish this. You can either press escape or press the uh, X up in the upper right hand corner. Actually, there we go. So here is my PowerPoint with all of my digital inking and everything on there. I always work with a copy. Also, I keep my original PowerPoints pristine because if I accidentally save over this, it would include the, the uh, videos and the digital ink and things. So I, I like working with a copy, just another tip there. And then the last thing that we need to do is export this to a video. So in order to do that, you'll go up to the file menu, choose export, then say create a video choice right here. And I'm going to accept the defaults. I could change these, but the defaults are fine for my purposes. And then it'll ask me, where do I want to save this? And then I like putting the letters MP4 at the end of this so that I know that it's a video. I notice that it is saving to my download, downloads folder, so that's fine. And now then if you look at the bottom, it says creating video in the name, and here's a progress bar. Now, depending upon how fast or slow your computer is, this could take some time. Uh, in a previous recording that I did, this particular recording took about three or four minutes to render. So rather than sit here and everybody watch this progress bar go along, uh, I'm just going to pause the video here and I will tell you how long it took. Okay, we're back and that took about three minutes to do that rendering. So that wasn't too bad. And I'm using a Surface Pro. This one's about four years old, and it's an i5 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM. So obviously, if you have a newer PC that's a little bit beefier specs, it's going to make your life uh, much easier. Rendering will happen much faster. So uh, take advantage of the equipment if you have it. Uh, now then, to finish up, let's just do a quick review here. So in recording a PowerPoint session, how easy it is to do, go up to the Slideshow tab, click uh, we just follow along right here. Hit click record slideshow. You can choose from the beginning or from the current slide. The interface will change. Let's just go ahead and do this. The interface will change and you click on the big red button. Now I'm not going to do that now because I just finished this one recording. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could clear these settings and start over again. So let's just jump back here. Let's click the X to get out of this up here. And that's it uh, for this particular episode, just a quick how-to video. The final the end product is an MP4 video, so make sure after you finish recording that you stop the recording button, go to File, Export, and create a video, and then you would export your video, select a file name and a folder to, to put it in, let it render, and that's it. You have the MP4 file and you're ready to go. Next time we'll be taking a look at uh, using PowerPoint as a screencasting tool. So until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.